Women who worked at a popular South Bay restaurant say they had a choice, either sleep with the boss or be fired. The owner is accused of handing out discipline when he didn't get what he wanted. Team 10 investigator Michael Chen has the stunning details from a just filed lawsuit. He owns a seafood restaurant, but according to this lawsuit, he routinely dips into his pool of female staff for his personal catch of the day. The popular El Camarón restaurant in Chula Vista is known for its lively atmosphere, but some former waitresses say working there was unbearable because of owner Moises Cuevas. He was treating it like a kind of a Tijuana brothel. Attorney Dan Gillian is representing four former waitresses claiming Cuevas served up a hostile work environment, demanding sex for shifts, as in job shifts. The lawsuit alleges Cuevas turned the restaurant into his personal dating service. It goes on claiming it was well known among the waitress staff. If you did not begin a sexual relationship with Cuevas or one of his friends, you would be demoted, hours cut, and eventually fired. He just really acted like he was kind of a pimp in a way. Gillian says Cuevas pressured the waitresses into doing strip teases or lap dances for he and his friends in exchange for money. And if the waitresses did not do as he said, he would force them to clean the restrooms. According to one waitress, Cuevas asked her to become his mistress and offered her $500 in front of other employees to have sex with him. And when she rejected his offers, he fired her. Another waitress says he offered her money and trips to Mexico in exchange for sexual intercourse. And when she rebuffed his advances, she was demoted to busser and eventually fired. Michael Chen, Team 10. An attorney for Cuevas declined to talk to us, and tonight we have obtained dramatic interviews with two of the former waitresses, which include a story of a strange rejected sex offer. You will see it tonight only on 10 News at 11 o'clock.